and, and after I read the screenplay and I started digging more into the real Tommy, I saw a great, great opportunity to portray a real female hero, which we haven't seen much in survival stories. For some reason, women against nature have not been a theme in the movie history, you know. So I thought, this is a great opportunity. Here's a real story about a real hero. Don't have to put a cape on her. She's actually a real true hero. For me, I mean, the biggest challenge, I think, was actually looking like a seasoned sailor. Um, you know, not only the actual sailing part, but also just physically kind of maneuvering around a boat. You know, I, I, I'd been on boats in my life, but I'd never really, like, lived on one or, or, or like experienced sailing, you know, proper, proper sailing. So for me, that, 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 was, that was difficult because the amount of times, because I wore no shoes the whole film, like they, they gave me shoes initially and I was like, oh, it's too much, too much of a hassle. Um, the amount of times I stubbed toes and, you know, <laughs> like stood on the wrong thing, uh, I mean, I lost count. The biggest challenge was the self-inflicted pressure that I applied day in and day out to to honor her story and to um, not stray from the narrative that she originally wanted to share with the world via her book. It was very important for Balthazar and I throughout the, and Sam throughout the process of this movie um, to retain the integrity of her truth and of Richard's truth. And so I think the biggest heart, the biggest challenge is simply uh, not being overly anxious about uh, what, she, what she thought because you can make this movie for any audience, you can make it for critics, but ultimately we, we wanted to make this movie for her. I was overwhelmed with, with emotion and it, it was uh, such a great portrayal brought on by Shailene and Sam. Oh my gosh, it was just, um, I just wept at times and it's hard not to. I mean, I don't know if you've spent huge amounts of time on the water, but like, it's a very unpredictable beast and uh, we kind of had to resign ourselves and sort of hand ourselves over to Mother Nature and thank, thank, thankfully like it kind of embraced us and we were very lucky I think where, where, we, where we needed good weather we kind of got good weather and where we needed bad weather we kind of had a bad weather. There was a few days where it went the other way but I think we were then able to kind of shoot scenes if it was raining to you know shoot storm scenes and you know, the scenes leading up to the storm and then if it was a sunny, you know, you know what I mean. So it, it kind of worked in our favour, um, but of course every day was different. Every day was so, so different and we were relying so much on, on natural sunlight because we didn't use, we weren't shooting on a studio, we used natural light and I think it's, 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 it's you know, it's crazy when you rely that heavily on, on Mother Nature because it is not in your control. I was extremely drawn to the love component of this story. Uh, survival the, the survival element is is there you don't even you don't have to um, talk it up you don't have to make it something it's not because it's so real and it's so obvious but the romance is something that I, I just I fell in love with their love you know I think I do believe Richard and Tammy are soulmates and, and and had a very divine connection on whatever level that meant for them but as a someone from the outside experiencing it you can feel the essence of their love and and how that love was ultimately the mechanism that helped survival ensue.